What's going on, everybody? It's your boy T Spillin'. Welcome to my channel, Spillin' All the Tea. And this segment is reality, just vaguely in general. Uh, today, I will be talking about, uh, yeah, Real Housewives of Atlanta, sca Scandy. I blended words, y'all. I haven't even started drinking yet. Candy's Ski Trip. This is the uh, very first episode. And before I get to all that, since it's spilling all the tea, I have to have some tea. I just happen to have some right here. Go ahead and hit the vape. And uh, before I before we get into the video, if you guys have been wondering where the hell have I been, I'll leave a link to uh, that video. I actually did that before this. And really enough, all of the videos, I said, I'm getting caught up on all the videos. They're going to be out of order completely. So expect this first and love and hip hop. Uh, or maybe brass pop, you know, whatever. Just expect the damn videos, y'all. They coming, okay? They coming. I ain't gonna be on here along with the motherfucking service announcements. Yeah. So, here's how we're gonna do this. I'm going to give y'all the synopsis, <laughs> okay? And then I'm going to do what I do best and talk a lot of shit, talk to y'all for a while, talk y'all ear off, go on tangents, and that's what the fuck I do. So, if you guys just want the fucking review, uh, like I said, I, I should mark it. Just go down to the uh, description box below. You'll be able to just catch the whole, just catch the review. If you just want to watch it in all entire because you didn't miss me, ah, you can. Or if you just want the synopsis, just keep on listening because we're about to go there. So, first and foremost, yeah, Candy caught a deal on this. So when she did uh, an award show or some shit like that, she got a free ski trip. So she caught a lick. So that's why the fuck they're doing it. All right, I'll buy that. And then you have, uh, like I said, you got Mama Joyce and Bertha. You know, they being all types of messy. I'm going to let y'all know right quick. I'm going to have some damn names for these motherfuckers. I ain't got a name for Joyce ass yet because Joyce ain't showed her ass yet. I'm going to call Bertha. Mm -hmm, y'all, y'all, y'all. Bertha going to be the squirrel. I don't know why. It's, it seemed like she got two motherfucking golf balls in her motherfucking cheeks. Like the, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I know I shouldn't be talking about old folk, but... It, Again, fuck it. They over here cooning this shit. I'm going to talk about them. Got and, you know, they sitting there talking the mad shit, talking about we going to take grist and the third. I'm just like, y'all doing too much. Entirely too much. Um, of course, they get to the, the fucking place. They're greeted by Ty's assistant. You know, the, um, let me see. Nora, now I'm bringing her into it. She look like a fucking raptor. I fucking said it. Look like a fucking raptor. Her and the fucking squirrel, they mad because, you know, the Tuckers, so Ty, Candy, and the daughters are in one vehicle. Everybody else on the shuttle bus. So, I mean, at first, oh my God, Ver I mean, they mad about that. Then, oh my God, she's so sweet. And then they, and they feel about this shit. I don't fucking care right now. Um, they fucking get there, you know, they chilling for the moment. Bertha and her feelings, you know, she throwing a motherfucker his fit, still don't care. Um, but she mad about shit. I'm going to say it now, I'm going to go in detail later, but they could have just sent her ass home and kept that shit pushing, but y'all going to hear, hear me talk about it very, very soon. Then they get to the fucking room situation, and of course, in the main fucking building, of course, it's going to be the fucking Tuckers. Candy, Ty, Riley, and uh, I think it's Kayla. You know what I'm saying? And then they got everybody else, you know, in two other buildings. But, but I don't know, y'all. I don't. But they getting mad about that. We also get introduced to some other people. I'm going to talk about them as they become relevant. You have Weenie, which is Bertha's daughter. So, you know, cousins uh, to Candy. And, you know, she turned up like, y'all shouldn't be in here. Yeah, yeah, woo, 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 woo. They go to dinner. You know, we. Weenie is the one fucking turning up and shit for no fucking reason at dinner when you could have pulled somebody to the motherfucking side, but that it is what it is. You know, Katie decides she going, you know, she want to do some swaps and whatnot. Eventually, they're just going to, the sisters are going to swap with uh, Don Juan. Oh, I, I also forgot to mention, Mama Joyce is also in uh, <clears throat> the same build as uh, the Tuckers. Got to mention that, but the sisters are going to switch out with Don Juan and uh, Carmen. 
because they are there. Why the fuck they are there, I don't know. But again, I'm going to talk about all that in detail. And Mama Joyce and Candy go to help Nora. And uh, I, I'm calling them by their red legs. I'm sorry. I said I was going to get them cold. Going over there for the squirrel and the raptor to help them move. And, you know, Weenie, you know, is there. So they just decide to have a come to come into, you know, Lord moment. And try to get her back this and third. Candy does what she does best. She gets to cry. We whoop, whoop. And a whop. And a D whoop. They blame it. I mean, they coming up with every which reason to be mad at Candy. You know, it's like they just finding shit. Pulling shit. I'm not saying the reasons aren't valid, but y'all just pulling shit and they're using this opportunity with cameras around to see him address issues that could have been addressed a long fucking time ago. Just saying. And, uh, yeah, eventually the blame shifts towards Todd. So we're going to see all this shit play out in the next fucking episode, y'all. So right there, that is just the synopsis. I mean, that's all I can give you for a synopsis. Now, Lord, I'm over here dropping my damn cards and shit. But if y'all want me to give y'all the review as only I can give my fucking reviews, we're about to go in. Just give me a moment. So, as I said before, Candy caught a deal on the ski trip. So that's why they're going. And we find out that Don Juan and Carmen are both going. They're going to help facilitate things. I'm truly trying to figure out motherfucker why. I mean, you feel me? And, and you know, at the same exact time, I mean, I'm going to just keep keep the shit 100. They're doing a shit for ratings. And to have all... I'm going to be straight up with you. If they were to give Candy a spinoff and it'd be about her life, it wouldn't be an issue. Especially if they incorporate her family, it wouldn't be an issue. You know what I'm saying? They can do this like, um, you know, Chrissy and Jim Jones. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, they can film the individual sisters. Meaning, you know, squirrel, I, if y'all didn't catch it, uh, Bertha is the squirrel because, you know, she be looking like, you know, she got some motherfucking golf balls and shit in a motherfucking cheese. Motherfucking, uh... Nora looked like she a motherfucking raptor or some shit, looking straight like a motherfucking bird. Again, I ain't got a name for Joyce yet, because she behaving. She gonna, she gonna get a name, probably by the next motherfucking episode, I ain't gonna lie to you. But, um, <clears throat> you know, they can film them individually, and then kind of collectively show the whole coming back together. And if they decide to keep this thing with Candy, they're probably gonna end up doing a trip every time, and we're just watching for the fuck shit. And seeing as how we already know there is an issue with Carmen and Joyce, why put them in a room together, or put them in anything together, if it's not for ratings? Call fucking spade a spade. You know, I mean, I'm going to jump the gun ever so slightly, but they have Todd's assistant. And if anything, if you need somebody to facilitate, why not have Todd's assistant do it? He ain't got no connections to nobody. He is very fucking neutral. <clears throat> it is what the fuck it is. Just saying. Any fucking way. You have fucking Bertha talking about some, you know, you know, secret squirrel talking about so how she going, she got a snowball with Todd's name on it being messy. Her and Joyce talking about so how they going to pack some grits. I'm just like, why? Why? And it's like, y'all too damn old to be acting like this too motherfucking old, but hey, I fucking digress. I do. So, where we at now? They do uh, show a clip <clears throat> that I thought was beautiful, but at the same time, I'm going I'm to talk real shit. You have uh, a week earlier from uh, uh, Todd and Candy uh, doing their bedtime prayers, you know, you see a clip of uh, Todd at the gravesite of his mother, and, you know, you can see it in his face, it's like, you know, I gotta think what he was doing, which is, you know, what a lot of people do, and I can, I can tell you, you know, me being how I am, I am like this too, where, if I'm going through the normal motions of life, you know, you're not gonna see me sweat, you're not gonna see me cry, you know, you ain't gonna see none of that. But when I get that moment to literally just let life catch up with me, I'm probably going to be, you know, 
just overcome with emotion. And he, that was his moment right there. And Mama Joyce pulls up, and you can tell he was fucking surprised. You can tell. It was on his face just like, what the fuck is she doing? He ain't say that, but that's how the fuck he was looking. And, you know, she come up with, you know, um, a bundle, of, like a bouquet bundle, whatever the fuck we gonna call it, of flowers. But she has a smile on her face to me. It did not fucking seem genuine. She gives him the flowers. She gives him the flowers. And, you know, pretty much tells him that, um, you know, she's going to try to she be better in the future. And pretty much wants his mother to know and see that she's going to be the best mother-in-law that he can have. I want everybody to fucking remember that fucking statement. And it was caught on camera. Because we're going to see shit go all the way to y'all that's going to be... Right, but it's my left, all the way to fuck left. Whatever. So, again, like, and I'm gonna bring this up just because it's gonna, it's gonna make my point. They take almost like a shuttle bus type deal to the fucking airport. Remember that. They get on the plane, fly there. <clears throat> they're greeted by Todd's assistant. All right, and his name is Matthew. Now, Todd says the Tuckers are going to be in their own isolated vehicle. So he's driving them. Ty Candy, Kayla, and Riley. One vehicle. Everybody else is going to be in a shuttle bus. Now, Joyce, Joyce really ain't saying much right now. She behaving. But the squirrel and the raptor are sitting here and they finding everything. To, it, it first, at first, it's like, mm, why we got to be separate? First thing. Then he gives them a warm beverage. I think it was like apple cider wood with some mercy in there because... He wants to make sure they're taken care of. Here's the thing. Real motherfucking talk. Matthew getting paid by one motherfucker, and that's Todd. So, yeah, he needs to motherfucking make sure the motherfucker that's writing that motherfucking check is fucking taken care of. And if that means that who is direct to him is taken care of, he gonna fucking do that. Point blank and the motherfucking period. And, you know, they mad about that. Like, we don't get no trains. No, y'all get no damn trains. Shut the fuck up. Come fuck. Yeah, I'm I'm, fucking, I'm, I'm being... I'm just, Y'all doing too fucking... First and foremost, a trip in general is free. Okay? Y'all are on a free fucking trip. If y'all finna see him be some motherfucking negative nasties, I'm getting ahead of myself, but y'all know where the fuck I'm finna go with this shit. So, like, you on the fucking bus at first, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, look at the snow, yeah, yeah, And then it goes from that to, you know, um, oh, my feet hurt, it's been two hours, my butt hurt, Ooh, my neck, my back, all this other shit. And it's like, y'all doing too much. Y'all seriously doing too much. I understand that they are older women. Please do not get me wrong. I do understand that. I grew up around my elders. But even my elders, when I was younger, and even my elders right now, don't do that fuck shit. They sit here and they take, you know, you know, um, car rides up to Mississippi. To see the fam. I'm pretty sure they didn't take up, you know, and I, I'm not even bus car rides. They even taking car rides up to, uh, you know, St. Louis. Not to mention, I know they've got on commercial fucking buses and shit. You know, to, that is one of the ways it's like, I don't, okay, I, I need to reel myself back in. This is the first video that I've done, about, and I'm already about to turn the fuck up. Let me bring it back. Bring it back. But, uh, so, you know, they finally get there. Bertha, Big Bertha, Mom Bertha, you know, Queen Squirrel, she all the way the fuck in her filler. Smoking on her cigarette, you know, she don't want to talk to nobody. She don't want to deal with nobody because she just mad. She just mad. And, you know, Todd realizes, so Todd tries to, you know, actually, hold on, am I getting ahead of myself? I don't think Todd went, no, Todd did not address her. I don't believe. But he told Candy. You know, and I think Todd, you know, kind of realized, I'm not going to fuck with her while she her villa. I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to let my wife deal with it. So, she's mad. It appears she rests to go. Being so antisocial and Candy trying to say, okay, well, look. The ride is over. Enjoy. And Bertha just ain't happening. Now, I'm going to say this. Candy is a little bit older than me. Like I said, I'm 28 motherfucking years old. Anybody that know me will tell you, I have no time 
for the fuck shit. I don't mind cutting things and people out of my life and situations if it's going to preserve my fucking happiness. I and I would have pretty much told like, look, I understand you are my aunt. I understand you are my elder. I understand you are older than me. But if this is what you are going to be on, and I know your daughter is in route, or if already, no, I, I don't fucking remember. I think her, you know. Her daughter was already, I would have told her, I would put both of y'all asses on a motherfucking plane and send you back to, better yet, I'll put you back on the bus right now, let you ride another motherfucking two and a half hours back to the mother, better yet, I had a ass to get us on a motherfucking detour, then put you on the motherfucking plane and send your ass back home to, you know, the ATL, if you, if you finna be this motherfucking thing, because I ain't got motherfucking time for it, that's just me. Right. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Maybe I'm just being a little bit, you know, inconsiderate and mean and shit. Maybe it's a T. I don't fucking know. But that's the shit that I be on. I ain't about that. And my family already know. You, you know you feel what I'm saying? Y'all ain't about that shit. I'm not. I'm not. You not finna you not finna come over with that. You ain't gonna do it. Okay? Okay. So she goes in, she's sitting out, she just mm. and it's one of those where you can tell that, you know, she's calling a scene. Because she could have went to an isolated place in the uh, cabin and, you know, sat there in her feelings. And I'm going to say this. Matthew, he was, he, he precious in a good, and this was just in a good way. You know, bless his heart. He was trying to help her. You know, he brought over some food. She like, oh, you can take the food back. Right then, I'd be like, you know what? Mm, done. But he, trying to win her over, you know, trying to be nice to her, pull out some lotion, like, I'll rub your feet. You know, and she said in a confessional that ain't nobody rubbing her feet but her husband and all those shit. And I'm just and I can see why in that instance I was for Squirrel. Okay? Cause if I'm in my motherfucking feelings, look, you need to back the fuck up. Don't say not don't they don't say not now motherfucking thing to my ass. Back smooth the fuck up. Give me some motherfucking room. Be- better yet. I'm just a motherfucker where I'm going to stay isolated from everybody until I can bring myself the fuck back down. I'm just saying. That's me. And if I know that my motherfucking mood is going to affect everybody, I will keep myself away until I can bring myself to a point that I can reintegrate and be around other people. You know what I'm saying? It is what the fuck it is, child. I'm not even all the way through this first fucking page. And I just, I'm, I'm telling y'all. Mm-hmm. So... They get, they're doing the room assignments and everything, and then, like I said, in the main cabin, you have Candy, Ty, Mama Joyce, Kayla, and Riley. They're in the main one, and I expect nothing different. Absolutely nothing different. Then they have uh, Weenie, Nora, and uh, Bertha in the cabin, I guess, all the way to the back, around the corner, down the hill, up the slope, all the way back yonder. And then you got Common, uh, Don Juan, and I guess the other relatives, Todd's relatives, you know, in another cabin, which is a wave, I guess, closer. So, Weenie gets her own room, and you got Bertha, and you have, uh, I'm the heck of being nice again. Fuck it, you got Bertha, you got Nora, that I pretty much sit in the twin side of the bed, but where they are is not bad. Well, you know, they not having it, y'all. I'ma just say, and Nora is the main one as I have talking about. So, you know, when I go out, this, that, whoop, whoop, this, that, whoop, whoop. Again, if you don't fucking like it's one of those where they could have just took their ass home if they're not liking it. And it's like, again, it's a free trip. Enjoy what the fuck you have. If you finna sit here and be this damn pet, it's almost like I truly am, and you know it has in the title, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Candy Skeeter, I'm watching the Real Households all over again. This just the adult version. I'm sorry, this is the uh, you know AARP version that I'm watching right now. The fuck ever. So you know Bertha's and his thing because Bertha pretty much said it best. I didn't ask to come, but nobody made your ass come, and that's why I would I would have been sending motherfuckers home like y'all not gonna sit here and be motherfucking ungrateful. Uh, even though it's free, I'm pretty sure Candy paid for some of the shit. Uh, I know she paid for some of the shit. I would have been sitting motherfuckers home. You ain't for the, you ain't for bring your ass up in here and be motherfucking disrespectful. Mm-mm. Hell to the motherfucking no. I'm all about family and shit, but again, 
if any, if any of my family watch it, y'all know, y'all know what I'm telling the motherfucking I'm talking, I'm talking about blood, you know, blood relatives, you know what I'm saying? Even though y'all my fam, I'm talking about blood relatives, they would, they, they would tell you. Y'all tell the motherfucking truth. That's how the fuck he, this is how the fuck I am. I don't play that shit. You know, I ain't about that. And now you got Weenie, she mad, she and her feelings and shit because, you know, she don't like her aunts and her mom being treated a certain fucking way and shit and whatnot. And ya, ya, rah, rah, blah, blah, she mad. I'm going to talk to Mrs. Tucker. And then right there, I'm just like, ah, right, you, you doing too much. I'm just like, what, do you want to spend all two? I mean, you, fuck ever. But she turned up for no motherfucking reason. Absolutely no motherfucking reason, but... Again, I fucking digress. So they had dinner. Shit's catered. Shit look beautiful. You know, I mean, I couldn't eat a lot of shit that was there. But I wish I could have been that shit. I, baby. Baby. I'm shit. <laughs> they could have put my ass in like a prison cell type of motherfucking room. I wouldn't have said not a motherfucking thing. Y'all flipping the bill? Y'all paying for er, er thing. Y'all y'all paying for er. So y'all paying for the food? Y'all paying for the lodging? Y'all paying for the... Shit. Shit, I ain't gonna say a motherfucking thing, but that food is delicious, y'all. I'm just saying, y'all know I like to eat. I, I really do. But, uh, you know, Weenie sent her ass down, and, you know, she makes it obvious that she's mad. And Candy asks her, what's up? And, you know, she pretty much, like, I'm, I can't call her directly, but she said something along the lines of, you know, I don't like how you got, you know, my mom and my aunt all the way in the back, but you, but you got these other people you know, closer, and this song was just like, you, like, that shit, I understand, partially, her frustration, but that shit was mad disrespect, and if you want to sit here and talk about it, be like, you know what, Candy, I am mad, but let, let me holler at you over here, better yet, she could address her when she first fucking walked in, but of course, you want to cause a motherfucking scene, that's, that's a cool Nareep. Right there. That's all the fuck this is, y'all. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> and, you know, Candy is just like, you know what? I can just switch y'all with the girls. Now, here's what I'm going to say. She was going to put the girls with Winnie. I'm sorry, Weenie. All the way in the, uh, wherever the fuck she was. And I, I keep saying Winnie because I want to call her ass Winnie the Pooh, but. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm giving everybody fucking nicknames and shit. I mean, hell, if that's the case, then we fucking call motherfucking Riley fucking Eeyore and shit, but, you know, I digress. <clears throat> but I didn't like that. I didn't. But my whole thing is this. If you'd have made a plan, make a motherfucking plan. You know what I'm saying? And you have fucking Nora talking about, so I'm the oldest, so, you know, I should have been considered. Well, if that's the case, if you're the oldest, then tell, you know, Weenie to switch rooms and give you, give you that and let Weenie sleep in the room with her motherfucking mama. Hmm? Hmm. You know, but it's like y'all doing too fucking much. And then to even now mind you, to consider moving the children, the main, you know, family that she needs to make sure that stays together is her immediate, which is her, her husband, her daughter, her, you know, stepdaughter, but again, her daughter and her mother. Because that's where the problems are. So I would not have even fucking considered that. Because my thing is this, even if it was, you know, my family, and you know, so just switch places, you know, I love my aunts. I do. I, I love my aunts unconditionally. But if I had, you know, a child, and, you know, I have my wife's child, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and move them. I'm not. I would I would have done my best to be considerate of them and, their, and them being an older age, but I'm not going to sit here and move mine. Uh, no, not how the fuck this shit go, so, I don't know, y'all let me know how the fuck y'all feel about that, now, when Candy went to sell girls, you got Riley sitting here on that fuck shit, pretty much telling how she don't want to go and shit, now, here's where, you know, I, I wanted Candy to go there, but Candy buck up in her confessional, but not with the girl, because here's the thing, if you're going to do it, it would have been one of those, uh, I'm not asking you, I'm fucking telling you, so, so, say the tears when you get your ass over there, Pack your shit. Let's get moving. You know what I'm saying. But here's my thing: if you gonna make, if you gonna be firm, if you gonna do it, be firm in the shit. You know what I'm saying. But again, whatever. 
So, they get back to the table. And, you know, Don Juan and Carmen are like, you know what? We will swap out with them. You know, but, you know, the sisters, they still not having it because it's like, okay, well, it's still all these stairs we got to go up and everything. And I'm just like, okay, ain't nothing fucking good. Like, they want the fucking carpet treatment. <clears throat> I'm not ha- I'm not here for it. I'm not happy for it. It's just too much. It's too fucking much. And I actually, no, nah, no. Nah. No, nah, I'm saying if they're right. Yeah, whatever. So, Candy is getting ready to go over there and help uh, her aunts move. And tells her mom to come over too, so to get over there. And it seemed like they was just going in on her. Like that was like a planned attack. Cause you have uh who the fuck with Nor went in first talking about some, you know, you don't call me on my birthday, you ain't been over for the holidays and everything. And you know, it's starting to hit candy. You have Joyce chiming in talking about some well, I mean, don't feel bad because she don't call me. And I'm I'm like, yeah. And then fucking weedy chimes the fuck in talking about how you know we supposed to be closed and you know when you don't call and you don't even show up to stuff and that hurt me and then of course like I said Candy got the crying and boohooing and shit and eventually they turn it went to the direction of you know her changing you know when Todd came into the picture you know so everybody against Todd at this point what I will say is this <clears throat> though I understand everybody and I understand the sides, you know, people, people change, people evolve, priorities change. <clears throat> I mean, and I'm going to say it for them to be, and I'm going to vaguely say this, for them to be, you know, Bible God-fearing people, does the Bible not say when you get married, you will leave your parents and cling to your husband, cling to your wife? Is that not what it says? Is that not what she's doing? Start her life over? <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to just say this real fucking talk, and I'm just exposing myself. Uh, I don't fucking do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, being over in Korea and all this other stuff, and just even how immersed I am in my job and everything, you know, I don't call my aunts all the time. I don't. I call them sparingly. I don't really talk on the phone all that much. I'm more of a in-your-face type of person. It is what the fuck it is. That's just how the fuck I am. You know, you know, I ain't even finna talk about myself right now. Cause this shit ain't got nothing to do with me. <clears throat> but it seemed like this shit finna come. So I'm probably going to do with these videos is give you the synopsis first and then just go in and talk about it. Cause I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some other shit that's gonna piss me off. And hey, if y'all just wanna know what happened, I can tell you what happened is given to you. So with that being said, y'all, this is my review <clears throat> for this bullshit ass ski trip. With this video and all others, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you have not. To all my old subscribers, thank you for rocking out with me. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family. To those who are looking around, if you like what you see and want to be part of the family, again, it's very, very simple. Hit that subscribe button, you know? And since this is spilling all the tea, I spill the tea so you guys can catch it. Bring whatever it is that you want to catch the tea in. I'm going to finish off what I have right here. And, um, yeah, um, with everything that's going on with me right now, I will try to get these videos to y'all <clears throat> as expeditiously and on time as possible, but like I said, there is a lot going on, like I said, you know, if y'all get a chance to watch the video that I posted, kind of letting y'all know where I've been, then you'll kind of understand, uh, what's been going on and why I've been a little bit MIA, so, with that being said, thank you guys for watching, thank y'all for rocking out with me. I love all of you, and until the next video, you guys, peace.